I'm Sofa Zomenwe. I'm from Mafiken. I work for the South African National Defense Force as a medical technologist at Tuan Military Hospital Pathology Lab. I was diagnosed with breast cancer in 2014 at the age of 29. How I found out, after I had a bath at night, I just felt a lump, a small lump on my right breast. Um, and I felt the other breast and I found that the other breast didn't have the same lump. So I think after a week or so, I decided to, do, to consult. So after consulting, I got a referral to have a scan done because they could feel that, you know, it was just an, an ordinary type of lump that they, were, they felt. So I went and had a scan done. From having a scan, I had a biopsy done. So the biopsy confirmed that it was malignant, that it was cancer. During those few days, I was like, okay, this is actually happening. But the first people that I called was my family because I have a very supportive family. So the minute I got that lump and after the whole biopsies, the first people to know was my family. So the support was already there from then onwards. I think that night when I had a chunk of hair in my hand, that's the first day that I actually broke down and cried for the very first time. I think I was okay throughout and that was like the, my breakdown point was when I was like, this is really happening. Do not take anything lightly. Any pain that you feel, any lump. Before we used to think that only old people used to get breast cancer, only white people used to get breast cancer. But even us now, black young females, have those scans, have those pap smears every single time that you really have to do them. Go for your yearly medical checkups if you have to, for you to actually know what's going on with you on a daily basis. I want women to be empowered, like I think we are very great leaders. We should not underestimate the power and the ability that we have to be our future leaders, to take over this world, because I believe that women have everything in their hands. Whatever that men can do, women can do even better. So with us leading this country, leading this organization, we, we can make this world a much better place. Woman leadership. Thank you.